Want to find out how to get weapons with more damage? Are you sick and tired of getting a weapon but the damage is due to? Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get your favorite weapon with more damage. As of uh, this is Laserbolt, and today we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to get the weapon you want. For example, if you want an AR, SMG, with more base damage. Now, the reason I say base damage is because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen build videos where, like, you got, like, massive amounts of damage for a specific gun. And, yes, those guns are reaching very high damage because of the mods that they have, which are technically blue mods that you're able to farm. If you want to know how to farm those blue mods, I have a video on how to farm those. But we're talking specifically the base damage that the weapon actually comes with. So, for example, let's say you have an AR with a base damage of 10,000. If you add mods, you're able to increase that to 13,000, 14,000, depending on the mods you have. We're talking about the bottom number, the base damage number, of that specific gun now you could see how this works if you guys have been playing the game you know as you were leveling up you were getting the same weapon over and over but as you kept going higher and higher in gear score your weapon base damage was going up as well but the thing is once you hit level 500 in your gear score there comes a point where you're getting the same gun but sometimes that gun that you're getting keeps dropping with the same damage type and there's people with that same gun that you're like how in the heck did he get that gun it's the same gun, but it has more damage. How is he getting that gun? Well, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you'll be able to get that specific gun for more damage. So if this sounds like something you guys are interested in, do me the huge favor, guys, and drop a like on this video because that helps me out a lot. Now, this video is not going to teach you guys how to farm specific weapons. I am currently working on a specific weapon guide that will tell you where to do or what you need to do if you want to just farm SMGs. What do you need to do if you just want to farm LMGs? What do you want to do if you want to farm ARs? I'm still collecting the data on that video, but if you want me to hurry up and get that video out, let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes. If we do, once it hits 1,000 likes, that video will be out super duper fast. You guys are going to be like, dang, that was quick. So definitely show me some love with those likes. All right, so now let's talk about how you get weapons with more damage. So let's say you have an AR that has a damage of 10K, and you want to get something that maybe it's like 11K, 12K, kind of just to boost that damage type. Well, there's going to be four different ways that you will be able to get a weapon with more damage that specific weapon it does require a lot of farming and a lot of grinding but as you guys know we're still waiting for the update to come up we're still waiting for the raid you have enough time to go ahead and start farming these weapons so the first method we're going to be talking about is going to be a dark zone you're going to want to make sure you go to the dark zone and complete landmarks now this way is a little bit tricky due to the sense that you know you always have that possibility that you'll get a weapon and you still have to extract that weapon because it could be contaminated and you have to deal with people either killing you if you're playing the solo or if you don't have a team so this could be a very tricky way but that is one effective way to actually get a weapon with a higher damage the drop rate of a higher damage weapon is increased in the dark zone as opposed to any other area in the game now for those of you who like just pve content wait guys i have more information on how you'll be able to do it in pve as well all right so now for option number two if you don't like that option i if you guys recall if you've been following my channel i had a video out i'll now link it in the description as well on how to farm dc or dark zone caches now dark zone caches will give you a higher base damage weapon the only thing about this is that you're technically only going to be getting at least like one to two weapons at a time because you know sometimes the the, the cache will only give you one weapon or they'll give you gear and it might not even give you a gun but this is a good way to actually farm the weapon you want without having to worry about you dealing with someone killing you or taking your contaminated loot there's a very good way to do it if you guys want to know how you're able to do it without having to deal with anyone make sure you guys check out my video on how to farm a dc caches the link is down below all right so now to step number three if you want to get a higher base damage weapon in pve you're going to need to play any mission that you want on challenge mode yes you guys heard it correctly on challenge mode now i know challenge mode could be a little bit difficult for some of you guys but i have built guys to teach you guys how to complete challenge mode without if you're trying to do it solo you could always try to match make they're not that really hard they don't take that long you're looking about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the team you're in and once you complete this missions you're going to be able to kill a couple of named bosses now these named bosses 
grant you the possibility of getting that specific weapon that you want for a higher base damage. In addition to that, guys, this is going to tie into step number four, is that since you're leveling up, you're going to get proficiency catches, which are catches that every time you level up, you'll be getting them as well. Anytime you open one of these proficiency caches, you have a probability of getting a weapon with a higher base damage. Now, if you guys were watching the screen as I was uh, doing this video, you guys noticed that I have a bunch of different weapons and all the weapons that have this little star on it, a little star icon, these are all weapons I farmed before making this video. It took me like about an hour to just farm these. I did a little bit of Dark Zone. I went ahead and did a little bit of, uh, you know, um, PvE content. And you guys can see right there that most of the weapons, the ones with the stars, have a little bit more higher base damage than the weapons that I have stored in my inventory. And these are just weapons that I did by opening up crates just to give you guys a comparison of what you have it's not a very dramatic base damage but it's a good amount to give you more dps when you're dealing with enemies now it's time for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what weapon that you currently have right now in your inventory would you like to have more damage let me know that information in the comment section down below. Let me know the name of the weapon. So when I do my specific weapon video, I know which weapons you guys are mostly concerned about getting. Let me know if you guys did try this method. And if you did, let me know if it worked out for you guys. Because feedback is always greatly appreciated. I love when you guys come back and tell me, yes, laser works. It actually makes me happy. And it gives me a sense of wanting to make more videos for you guys. Because I know I'm helping you guys. So definitely come back and hit me up with that feedback. Now, I do hope you guys did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, guys, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and when you subscribe make sure you guys click that little notification bell so you guys can know when videos go live in addition to that if you're already a sub double check that you have your notification bell ticked so you once again can know when videos are going live in addition to that guys if you ever want to stop by watch some cool gameplay or just want to have fun relax maybe chat it up a bit definitely consider us checking us over on twitch we stream very frequently and when we go live you're going to want to make sure you're following us so you guys can get notified when we go live and you guys can stop by thank you guys for tuning in today and don't forget w-g-a-t-a-p and i will catch you guys on the next video